I've been promising a video on how to tuck knitwear for the longest time and today I'm going to share with you six different ways that you can tuck your knitwear and this is going to be great because it kind of covers every style of sweater that you could possibly have from thinner knits to really chunky ones. This is going to be a pretty short and sweet video but I hope that you get some good ideas and some simple little style hacks on how to really make the most of your knitwear pieces and wear them in ways that make you feel really comfortable but also chic at the same time. We're going to start with the most obvious one, the full tuck and I find that this works best with knitwear that is either not too long through the body so that you don't have too much bulk at your midsection or alternatively that is more of a thinner slimmer knit. In the example I'm using a classic cashmere crew to demonstrate. So what you want to do is tuck the sweater in the entire way round, tucked as far down as you can, then you're going to grasp your sleeves and you are going to extend your arms upward and this will gently tug the fabric out of your waistband and what I find this does is create the perfect slatchy tuck. Not too much fabric sitting over the waistband but it's enough to give you a little bit of balance and proportion. The second most obvious way to tuck your knitwear would be to do a half or a fringe tuck. So this is where you have half of the knit tucked in the front but then it's loose at the back. And the best way to do this is to grab the front section of your knit and slide it into the top of your waistband. If you're wearing a chunkier sweater, you want to be mindful of how much fabric you're actually inserting here because you can get a slightly unflattering amount of bulk if you're not careful. We don't want to tuck the knit in too much either for the same reason. Now, I find that this works best when we have a flat finish where the sides of the knit drape over the waistband. You'll see what I mean here in the close-ups. We don't want to have this awkward element where the knit is pinched in at your waist as that can create a little bit of an unusual shape and create a break to this really seamless finish that we're after. I really like doing this with some of my more chunkier oversized sweaters because it feels super slouchy, effortless and cool. The next way to tuck your knitwear I've shared in a styling hacks video. I'm going to link that up in the cards if you'd like to go and have a watch but it essentially involves using an elastic band. So what you're going to do is pull the fabric slightly taut at the back and then tie a section of it in the center and you're going to loop that under the back of your sweater. Now personally I find that this works best if you're not tying it too tight because then you don't have much fabric to play with in order to create that nice amount of volume around the waist. Then for next at the front tucking the fabric under and then you can also pop a little bit of that fabric into your waistband as well if you want to create that slightly French tuck look. I think that this is really visually interesting as it creates this kind of cocooned element especially with the way that the knit falls and drapes at the back. You can use this styling trick a few different ways. One of my other favorite ways to do this is to actually tie a knot on the side at the front and tuck that under, which creates a really interesting draped pinched effect at the front. This is really great if you want to have a little bit of additional control. And I will say if you are concerned about that excess fabric kind of slipping out during the day, you can always secure it with a safety pin. Fourth way to tuck involves a base layer, something that is cut very close to the body. And I personally find something that has a little bit more length to it is especially useful here particularly if you have a sweater that is really long and actually the sweater I'm wearing right here is the one that I use in the example to demonstrate how I use this technique so what we're gonna do is literally fold the fabric underneath our base layer so that base layer is gonna hold the knit against our body and it's going to create this beautiful direct effect this is going to require some finessing, especially if your knit is particularly long like mine is, but you can really adjust the way that this looks. And a great one about this is that it really doesn't require any alterations throughout the day. You don't have to fuss with it all throughout the day because it should stay put as long as you're wearing the right base layer. Now you can also use a bra for this, but I just like that additional length as it makes the knit feel a little bit more secure against my body. You can again use that little trick where you tuck in a front portion of the sweater into your waistband. The fifth way involves using a belt and this is actually a really good trick if you're wearing a dress and you want to have that cropped sweater effect on the top. So what you're going to do is cinch your belt over the top of your sweater and you want to have it on the tightest setting that feels comfortable and then you're just going to tug the sweater out of the top of the belt so that it eventually creates this draped effect that covers the appearance of the belt so that you can't see it at all. And you're going to do this in both the front and the back. And you can do that half tucked effect here as well. 
Another way that you can use the belt is actually to tuck your knitwear underneath it using a similar technique to the previous tucking method. Finally, we've got the crossover tuck. And for me, this is for the girl who really wants to add in some drama with the way that her sweater looks. And this particular tuck, you'll have to readjust every time you go to the bathroom, but I think it looks really chic and stylish. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab two sections at the front of your sweater. I suggest not doing too far apart because then you end up creating too much tension at the back and you don't have any of that nice sort of volume or proportion around your waist which I think we're kind of looking for when we are tucking our knitwear and you're going to cross them over and then you're just going to tuck that front section into your waistband. Now again you can use safety pins if you want to fasten this so that you've got kind of that perfect little amount of balance here and then we'll just tuck under our knit at the back so it has that lovely little draped semi-tucked effect. And that is the final way that you can tuck your knitwear. So those are all of my styling secrets to nailing the perfect sweater tuck. I really hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget that I do offer one-on-one -on -one personal styling sessions, which is great if you want some more unique tailored advice that is personal to you. And I can conduct these virtually or in person if you're based here in Sydney. I will have that link down in the description box below if you want to find out a little bit more. But thank you so much for being here, for spending a little bit of your day with me. If you're new and you want to subscribe, I would love to have you back for more styling advice and outfit ideas and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!